in today's video we're going to be taking you to one of our must-see favourite spots in Wales, Nubra Forest. We will be exploring an incredible pine forest whilst keeping a lookout for the very rare and elusive red squirrel before making our way onto a tidal island packed with history, complete with lighthouses and incredible views. Sound like fun? We'll give you the full tour. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Kyle. And I'm Hayley. And today we have brought you to one of our favorite must see spots in Wales, Nubra Forest. So for today's video, we've brought you back to the Isle of Anglesey and we've brought you to easily one of our most favorite spots on the island which is Nubra Forest. Now, we brought you here for many reasons, but one of the reasons is deep within those woods lies a rather rare wild animal, for the UK at least. So we picked up a new camera for the channel. We're gonna try and snap some shots of it. More on that later though, stick around for that. But we're gonna be leaving the forest eventually and heading onto a tidal island. It's packed with history. It's got lighthouses, it's got mega views. It's got everything. So nothing left to say, but Let's get into this. So if you guys are looking forward to today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and why not join the gang? It really does help us out. So if you guys are looking to visit Nubra Forest, I've got some info for you. Let me just uh, pass you on to my official car park correspondent, <laughs> the queen of the car parks. <laughs> well, so if you're looking for car parking, there is a car park at Nubra Beach. It's um, a big one, it's a big one. It's a pay on exit type of car park. So that means you don't need to guess how many hours you're gonna need because uh, you pay on exit. Uh, I think it's contactless, um, yep. so make sure you bring a card. Um, there are toilets here, and there is even like uh, free water and like foot showers, things like that. So it's yeah. it's pretty good, I'd say. It's more established than most places that we go to. Yeah. So it is a pretty big car park, but this place gets busy, especially <laughs> in the summer months. So try and get here early, and don't leave too late either, because the gate to the car park does get locked. Yes. Uh, but yeah, better than most car parks we visit. So whenever we've come to Nubra Forest, obviously we're here for a nice relaxing walk. It's another one of those super chill pine woodlands, but it's actually one of the most accessible woodlands in Wales. Um, not only can you walk here, there's lots of different hiking routes, there's a lot of different running routes, there's mountain bike routes, and there's some paths where you can even ride your horse through, which you've already seen today. So, plenty of options to keep you busy. So I've read that Nubra Forest was created in the 1940s uh, basically just to stop the sand dunes from creating sandstorms and blowing over into Nubra village. Uh, but stick around for the second half because we'll show you those too. Yeah. 
Now, one of the reasons that we've come here today, and, and we think one of the reasons why you guys should come here to Newbra Forest is that it's one of the spots in the UK where you can actually see red squirrels. Now, if you're from the UK, you'll know that we're dominated by grey squirrels and red squirrels are actually really rare. And Newbra Forest is one of the most important conservation areas for red squirrels in the UK. And I think we read that in this forest at least there are about a hundred which might sound like a lot but when you see the size of the forest <laughs> it's quite a big task to spot one so last time we came here we took the blue trail and there's a few different types of trails that you can take uh, but we are coming up to the spot where we about saw a glimpse of a red squirrel last time and it was lightning quick so we're hoping we can see another one but um, yeah we'll try and see if we can capture it on camera this time now I've been threatening to get a second camera for the channel for a while it's a bit of a first world problem but we've got a few lenses now and it's always a faff to take them off put them back on and swap them between things so picked up a second camera we can always sort of permanently have a lens on so we can capture things a little bit faster and we brought you guys to the spot in the woods where we thought we saw the red squirrel last no we did see the red squirrel last time so hopefully we'll see him again We wandered the forest around the area. We saw our furry red friends the last time, but unfortunately on this particular trip, we just didn't see any. And to make matters worse, our long lens that we'd normally capture them with had decided to stop working. Well, that didn't quite work out as we wanted it to. <laughs> um, our long lens to try and spot these squirrels with, I forgot that this was a thing, but it's broke. Um, the connections on it, it doesn't like this camera, it doesn't like the new camera that we've bought and it just, it fails, um, the connection's a bit dodgy. So, and if we're being honest, we've not seen any red squirrels anyway. Um, no. Was definitely hoping to show a red squirrel to you guys, at least a picture, that would have been cool, but if I you guys come here, you'll have to let us know. It's, it's a little bit like in between the times that they come out, so I think it's usually like early morning and it then is, yeah. in the evening, so we might have just missed our I chance. I think we've missed them, I think they're in bed. <laughs> but anyway, this is not the end of this video, this is only the halfway point. We're now going to leave the forest, we're going to take you guys to a tidal island. You can only get to it when the sea's low enough. And that's where we're gonna head now. I'm excited, I like yeah. this bit. Yeah, I love it. Let's go. After the squirrels had evaded our camera, we left the forest behind us on our way out towards the coastline. The muddy trails gave way to sandy paths as the tree line transitioned into the sand dunes. Welcome to the beach. This is probably one of the best beaches in Wales. Yeah. On Anglesey, <laughs> at the very least. We love this beach, yeah. it's massive. Um, one thing to note, at certain times of the year, giant planes fly past my shot, so you can't really oh, hear what that. I'm saying. That's really cool. <laughs> anyway, as we were saying, at certain times of the year, you can bring your dog onto the beach, uh, but you're gonna wanna check the internet and they have a lot of signage, I think, before yeah. you go onto the beach as well, just to let you know exactly where and when you can do it. This is a thing across Wales, a lot of the beaches are segregated. Yeah. We're okay at the moment, we're out of the high season, so we're gonna be okay for the adventure. Yeah. Papa gets to enjoy the beach, which <laughs> he's, he's gagging to go. <laughs> 
Let's go explore that island. Well, for the first time on this channel, I'm actually wearing my hat the right way round. <laughs> the sun made me do it. It's pretty, it's pretty bright today. But where we're stood right now is actually, technically, underwater. Yeah. At least when the tide comes in. The tide is way out over there at the moment. In a few hours, that tide is going to come in and completely cut off the place that we're going to go to now. And that being said, this is now the second part of this vlog. Welcome to Clamwyn Island. Well, we have officially made it onto Clamwyn Island. You get to walk up those cute little steps that we just showed you there but we technically crossed through where the sea yeah where normally the sea is. normally is um it is it is a tidal island after all yeah uh, so before you do decide to come you must make sure you, to check the tide times uh but i think they also put them up uh at the car park so yeah you're never going to be stuck anyway as long as you stick to the tide times we have lost track of time <laughs> on this island though saying that yes uh, in the past there's, I think a, there's we, a lot of fun to explore, isn't there? We definitely turned up at the wrong end of the day and we didn't realise that the tide was coming in as quick as it was. Yeah, so if you guys do want to come here and check this place out, do check the tide times before you turn up. All that being said, the tide is way out right now. Yeah. But plenty of time. Let's go and enjoy the island. Found. I found a well but it's a bit dry. <laughs> it was used up until Tudor times to um, anoint the heads of thousands of pilgrims. <laughs> you definitely didn't just read that off a sign did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Guys we do our research honestly I promise. <laughs> That, that little snippet might have been off a sign. But we've never seen this well before, no, have we? No. We've been on this island quite a few times now, never seen this well. Now, there was a lot of pilgrims that travelled to here. Lo lovers, lovers pilgrims, um, all for the saint of the island. Now, so many of them came here and left offerings that they ended up getting enough money to build a chapel. And the, ru the ruins of that, at least, are still on the island. Yeah. So that's where we're going to go now. Admittedly, there isn't much left of St. Winwin's Church and is now just a ruin that dates back to the 16th century. St. Winwin herself is actually the Welsh equivalent of the St. Valentine and her feast day on the 25th of January is still celebrated in Wales to this day. Okay, so after leaving the chapel behind us, we are now fast on approach to at least my favourite part on the island, which is actually the lighthouse. It's, it's quite a large lighthouse, fairly popular with photographers. I know I've taken a, a bunch of photographs of this place, but there's actually two lighthouses on this island. So we're going to give you like mini tours of both of them.
Oh, you can't get in it. No. But it's pretty cool to look at. Now, OG channel subscribers that remember some of our very early videos might recognise this place because we came in, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And it features in our... Um, it was a Wales, Wales video. video yeah. I, think, I think I called it Incredible Wales. And it gave a little bit of a mini tour around Snowdonia. And this place also featured heavily because we love it here, don't yeah, we? Yeah, it's such a nice place. So we might link that very old video at the end. Okay, so that was a tour of lighthouse number one on this island. Fun fact about this lighthouse as well, apparently, I've seen it online at least, that it used to maybe be a windmill. Hmm. Maybe. Let us know down below in the comments <laughs> if we're right on that. It does kind of look like a windmill. Yeah, it does a little bit. Apparently it matches other windmills on Anglesey as well. So maybe in a past life, it was also a windmill. But we're now gonna take you to lighthouse number two, which actually is my favorite. Well, I've left Haley sort of on the other side as I've hopped over just to come and show you the final lighthouse. This is lighthouse number two on Clamwyn Island. And to be honest, it's arguably my favorite one. I've taken more pictures of this one. It's got something about it. I'm not really sure. Um, but I do think the light on top also still works and it still guides the ships through the Menai Strait. So let us know down below in the comments, which of the two lighthouses are your favorite? For me, it's this one. Okay, gang, we are gonna leave it there for today. Hopefully, you've enjoyed exploring this little side of Wales with us. Let us know down below in the comments which part of this video did you enjoy the most? Did you enjoy Nubra Forest or did you enjoy exploring the island with us let us know yeah and if you've enjoyed this video we'll link the other two wales videos uh, top three things to do in snowdonia and incredible wales um you'll enjoy those as well yep we'll link those at the end so do feel free to check them out so if you enjoyed this video please give us a big thumbs up and if you like the look of our faces mine being moderately sunburnt <laughs> hit that subscribe button down there it's completely free to do really helps us out on the channel join the gang for the future adventures and that way should guarantee that you see us in the next one so until then we'll see you in the next one bye peace